What up, Zilla Nation? It's me, your boy, Black Dynamite, aka Mocha, aka Glamour Chocolate, aka the Shit Hawk. <laughs> Just touching base, man. It's a Sunday fun day, man. I hope everybody's out there being safe and enjoying the time off if you can. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'll be honest with you, it's fucked up how it's going down, but I'm enjoying my time home. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big ag ag uh, advocate <laughs> of enjoying my home. <laughs> A lot of people don't understand it, but that's just my style. I like being home. I don't care. I don't mind going out either, but I don't mind being home. But uh, I'm just chilling, man. Touching base with everybody, man. I Yesterday, I just relaxed. <laughs> Did some stuff. Um, my boy set up my fire stick for me. My, big shout out to my boy, Big Brian. Uh, shout out to the Shit Hawk fucking Big, big E and the Shit Hawk Corvette. <laughs> big J Mills, second mom, Lorraine. My sister, Jerea, I hope everybody's turned up enjoying yourselves, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, I just, uh, I've been laughing, man. You know, Jay Mills been on a roll with these quotes, and I've just been cracking up because uh, I got to share them, you know what I mean? This one quote he sent me was fucking insane. That was great. Where the hell is it? What do he say? Why do you want me to help? <laughs> Here's the quote. Why do you want me to help with the bad decisions you made? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I want to touch base on that. I just thought that was fucking hilarious. Because it's just like, people want support on the fucked up shit they be doing. And why should I support that shit when it's wrong at the end of the day? But then you want to judge me about this and that. Sorry, I'm looking rough. I do need a haircut. That's why I got the hat on. Actually, another new hat, Dynasty. I, got, I had the blue one on the other day. I did the black one today. Like I said, Zilla merch and all that stuff's gonna be coming soon when all these things clear up. But we'll get on that in another subject. But back to that quote, which I thought was fucking hilarious. Cause uh, I'm gonna get into a little story time right now. You know, I just don't be understanding. You know, I, I understand everybody's concerned and worried, but I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna just keep it a hundred. Like when people with anxiety, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hate or talk shit. But I just that's just not me. You know, I I've had anxiety issues, but. I don't let them hold me back, and I went to the doctor and stuff like that, and honestly, the, from the era I've come from, you know, it wasn't anything such as anxiety. You got to do what you got to do and uh, put your head down and keep the grind going. So it's just like, you know, yeah, we got a lot of issues going on with society right now, but the way I live, I don't let it bother me, man. I just keep doing, every day I'm doing something productive, do what I got to do, keep this grind, so... Not saying I'm hating or don't care, you know, hey, all I say is, man, seek professional help from a doctor or a therapist and get your shit right. You know what I mean? If your children have it, make sure they're diagnosed properly with it. And why don't you make those steps to move forward so make sure your child or children or people in your circle are not suffering the way you do. And that's another, I just don't understand why people just don't get help. You know, they want to talk shit, this and that, but... They won't take the they won't take the numbers and they won't take the steps the necessary steps to do what they have to do to benefit themselves. But again, that's not me. <laughs> I'll be real with y'all. I'm I'm going to a therapist. I have a therapist. I love it. <laughs> I got my nuts cut. I go to the doctor every season just to get a checkup, even if I'm not fucking. You know what I'm saying? I just do what I have to do. I just feel like why not? You know. But then if I don't do it, oh, you know. The fuckery is always going to be high with that. It is what it is. I do what works for me. It's my world. It's my bubble. Fuck it. Dynasty. I really don't care. You know what I mean? And, and I understand people will share their stuff with me. That's fine. But again, I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just I do what I, do what I have to do for me. You know what I mean? I just feel like why suffer when you could better yourself? But then... Let's be real in our society now. People just want to suffer so they have something to talk about. That's why we have all these ch chicks having kids with these knuckleheads and all this other shit. Because you're attracted to the fuckery. <laughs> and I'm sorry, <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> you want to live that way, you go ahead. That ain't going to be my style. And I'm not trying to individualize anybody. I'm just just a thought on my mind. Just saying, fuck it. Putting some shit out there. You know what I mean? Like... I just, I go by, I vlog about my daily occurrences and daily fuckery and the things I see in here. And I, I make a story about it and I discuss it. I don't be putting people's names out there. I mean, I could, I could be a real big asshole, but I just use Boo Boo Lip, Susan, names like that to just, you know, more so 
that's how I disguise names. So, you know, that's what I do and that's what it is. You know, and again, I always say, people got an issue, you know, come see me. Let's not text, let's not talk over the phone. Come see me directly, you know what I'm saying? We got nothing but time now, and this goes for everybody, you know what I mean? I'm, nobody's working, <laughs> you know, and like chilling, you got issue, come on down, Bob Barker, price is right, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. But, uh, I don't know, man, just, I just had to, for some reason that was just bothering me, it's just, but, again, I've seen that multiple times, everybody knows everything, everybody's entitled to everything, so it's just like, when you do give advice, or you give a suggestion, you get the double fuck you. So, again, it is what it is. I don't care. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, what works for you is going to work for you. But obviously, if you're stuck in the same fucked up situation, <laughs> then it's not working for you. So, you need to make those changes as an individual and as a human being, a mom, a dad, whatever you are. But, again, man, when it comes to all that shit, I'll be laughing. Like, just to give you a brief story, my one homegirl, well, former homegirls, I don't talk to her no more. Fuck that. You like your situation, you, you, I gave suggestions <laughs> on how you could get out of your situation and what you need to do to better it and this and that. You didn't want to do that. So now you stuck. So now you're going to raise your child showing him how a woman shouldn't get treated. So now you're going to keep getting your ass whooped. You can't do nothing. You can't go to Dunkin' Donuts. You can't do nothing but get your ass whooped. But then you want to put your chest out with me. That's your business. I don't care. Because <laughs> at the end of the day... This is my world. I do what I got to do. So you want to sit there and say you know everything you did, this and that? That's on you. You want to listen to the card and watch for the hook and worry about going here and going there and you're a grown-ass adult? That's hot. You do that. I'm not going to. <laughs> I do what the fuck I want, okay? It's, it's Mocha's Dynasty right here. You know what I'm saying? So again, that person's probably not going to talk to me anymore. Oh, well. You know what I mean? At the same token, here's my thing. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 150 thou like camera. Why wouldn't you want better out of your life? <laughs> Why do you want me to enable your bad decisions? Like the quote that I just put up, that I just said, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not getting on, you know, here's the, here's really the screwed up part. I know I'm kind of all over the place. This is, this is how deep the shit is. You got people that are handicapped, missing limbs, doing more than a person that's 100% healthy. It has a better mind state than something that has than, than somebody else. So I, I'm just I'm always motivated and excited, man. And that's why I say I be laughing. When I be hearing these stories and looking at this shit, I just be cracking up. It's like whatever. I know where it's at. And and my thing is too, the men out here, because I'm not gonna put it all on the female. These these dudes out here, majority of them are fucking scumbags. But most females and a lot of these people enable them, and that's why they stay scumbags, because nobody puts a foot in their ass. So that's fine, but that's not me. So what I do now in my life, and especially the way I've been living, and I said for 2020 set in tone, I'm not going to enable any of that shit. If you like that fuckery, you go ahead and stick with that fuckery, okay? <laughs> and again, I said, if you like that fuckery, you go ahead and stick with that fuckery. I said it two times. I repeated it, because you know what? It is what it is, man. And you know what's sad? You see why so many generations are lost and why we have so much fuckery and bullshit with these kids now coming up and coming into adults because look who who raised you, like T.K. Kirkland would say. You know, who does that? But you know what? That's what it is, man. But it's not going to be me. So if I'm going to be by myself or dot, whatever, then that's, what's, that's just what I'm going to be. Oh, well, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm on this grind. I got to do what I got to do. You know, and I know what type of man I am. I know what type of man I, I am and what I deserve because I grew up in an era. You put your head down, do what you got to do. You give respect, get respect, vice versa. And you don't let none hold you back. <laughs> so you got to keep to this grind, keep pushing. And a lot of females don't realize that now. So it's all good. And these dudes play off on it. And that's why you got these dudes that are no good. They got all these kids, don't do shit, but they get the right chick <laughs> that they can beat up on and, and pounce on because now she has to do everything. That's on you. <laughs> that ain't me. You know what I mean? And my thing is, you know, we just going to keep, I don't know, just society is just so lost with just 
let's just have babies. That's why we got Team Mom 37 and all this other bullshit. Because our society idolizes these cats now. You know what I'm saying? That ain't me. And yo, I'm glad my nuts is cut. I'm glad I have no children. <laughs> I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? It just... I'm a product of my environment, but in a different way, in a positive vibe, not the bullshit vibe that's out there today. You know what I'm saying? And I know a couple of people are really laughing because some people know my stories. <laughs> Jay Mills and Big E. I know Big E's probably sitting there cracking up right now. He's probably sitting with his wife like, <laughs> the fuckery's high. So it is what it is, man. I be laughing. I don't care. It is what it is, man. I'm just, I'm enjoying myself on my terms. And that's what it's going to be. You know what I mean? So, oh, big shout out to Uncle P. Uh, big shout out to my brother and uh, my parents and everything. You know, I had to put that out there quick. I just saw him the other day. We worked out. So, uh, but yeah, man, it just, just crack it up, man. I just want to touch some notes with some things, man. Say what's up. Seeing what's going out there in Zilla Nation. You know what I mean? Like, subscribe. <laughs> Tell a friend about it. You know what I mean? Hey. I'm just doing me, man, having fun, brother. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful day out. It's not as warm as I would like, but I still got shorts on. But I'm sore as hell today. I worked out yesterday, get on this bench, man. Strength is coming back to where I needed to be. So now it's just more so. I just been eating and, excuse me, eating and cutting weight. I'm going to be doing a lot more cardio starting up this week, too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, get, get it going. But uh, everybody stay safe out there, man. Stay blessed. But, uh, you know, like I said, story time, man. The decisions some of these people be making, I be laughing. And then my thing is, I got I to gotta say this. They don't listen to what the fuck they be saying. Like, you're going to tell me you got an issue with yourself, but then, oh, well, a bunch of people told me about it. But I said, you need to physically go to a doctor or a therapist to get diagnosed with this. And I'm not saying doctors should have always 100. But I'll be honest with you, I'd rather go to a fucking doctor who went to school for some shit and this is his profession than talk to fucking Johnny Joe next door to, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, he has that problem. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's whatever, man. I, I don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers just be lost, man. And they really people. And you know what's sad, yo? Our society is really fucking lost. Hard body. And it's all good. I, I don't even care. I got to do what works for me and keep on to this grind, man. So. All y'all stay blessed out there. My lips are chapped as hell. I get out of this house. But I just got out for a little bit. Stocked up on some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a blessed day, man. Peace.